Welcome to this demo of Dev Web Run Logic. LoadRunner 2020 SP2 release introduces a new ability to define and edit run logic for Dev Web scripts in ViewGen tool. Let's open ViewGen, create a new Dev Web script and define run logic. The run logic tree structure contains three predefined blocks called initialize, run and finalize. The initialize and finalize blocks execute only once during the test, while the run block can be repeated. The initialize block runs at the beginning of the run, and is mostly used for initial business processes such as enter domain and login page. The run block controls the sequence of the main business process that you want to test, and will run according to the number of iterations that you set at the top of the view. The finalize block runs at the end of the run, and can be used for business processes such as logout. When the Enable Run Logic During Replay option is selected, the defined run logic order will be used when replaying the script. Run logic includes an option to insert a block. The block may contain multiple actions and can be run multiple times. By creating your flow, and breaking the actions into blocks, you can build the logic of how your test will run. Not all items that are defined in the script need to be included in the flow, so you can change the run logic without changing the actual code. In order to control which actions will be part of the test run, you can use the insert, delete or move buttons, or select these in the right-click context menu. From the context menu you can also copy, cut and paste actions or blocks. When you click the insert button, the list displays the permitted items for the currently selected area of the run logic tree. Actions are included in the list only if they are relevant for the selected block. Actions must be named to add to the run logic flow. If the script contains anonymous actions, a message will appear under the insert button. Assign a name to each anonymous action, then you can add it to the run logic. When creating blocks of actions, you can define the logic for how the blocks are run. Sequential will run all the blocks, or actions in the block, in the order they appear. Random, will pick an action or block randomly and execute only that action or block. When using random logic, you can define the probability value for each item. This can be any value from 1 to 99, but the total probability for all items must add up to 100%. Actions or block with zero probability will not participate in the run. Shuffle, will run all actions in the block, or all blocks, but in a random order. You can change the number of times to run a block, or the probability value for a block or action, by clicking the relevant number. The run logic data can be configured directly in the RTS YAML file located in the script folder under the flow section. You can also enable or disable the usage of the run logic during the test run from there. When you run your dev web script in LoadRunner Professional, the defined run logic flow is displayed in the run logic view in the runtime settings. You can then view and edit the run logic for your script. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.